I'm Celeste Miner, and, and this, this is, is TA Talks. Talks. Special Education Services is hosting a statewide book study on high leverage practices in special education, which will be facilitated by Dr. Richard Templeton, Supervisor of Student Services for Muscle Shoals City Schools. Schoology will be our platform, but don't worry, if you're new to Schoology, we can help you get started. What is exciting about this study is it's available to anyone, special education teachers, general education teachers, and administrators. CEUs are available as well as a PLU. Each school system should have received three copies of the book. However, copies can be downloaded electronically for free. Listen to Dr. Templeton explain more about the study. Hello and welcome to High Leverage Practices in Special Education, a book study that allows special education teachers as well as their general education teacher counterparts an opportunity to earn a CEU it also provides special education and general education administrators an opportunity to earn a PLU. Now we've known for many years that there are certain practices in special education that have a positive impact on students with disabilities. This book study examines 22 high level practices that are based in research. The deadline to register for this book study is September 24th and it's broken into seven different modules. Module one is of course gonna be an overview of the book study, as well as the high leverage practices. In module two, we'll talk more about collaboration and the collaborative approaches that we can implement in the school setting that will have a positive impact on students with disabilities. Module three, we'll consider assessment. How do we evaluate, analyze, and apply assessment data to impact students? to drive the instructional approaches that we use with students, to improve the potential outcomes for those students. In module four, we'll look at the social, emotional, and behavioral components of education and best practices, high leverage uh, practices that can be implemented to address this area. In modules five and six, we'll look at the instructional approaches that we know are effective for students with disabilities and how we can apply those in the classroom setting to yield positive outcomes for our students. And of course, module seven draws conclusions for this study and focuses on next steps for participants. There's really four components to this book study. The first one is of course, reading the book itself. So there'll be reading assignments for each of the modules. There's also gonna be re pre-recorded presentations that's gonna address all of the high leverage practices. And then this is all about application. How can we take this knowledge and apply it to the classroom setting? So as part of the format for this book study, participants will have to apply and practice some of the high leverage practices that we are reviewing. And then at the end of the day, we'll have to do a short reflection activity that's going to focus on the high leverage practices, how we've implemented them, what we've learned from them, and then of course, next steps. A, PTL, a PDF version of high leverage practices in special education can be obtained at the Cedar Center's website for free. Additional resources are available from the Council for Exceptional Children. There's specifically a website, www.highleveragepractices.org, that has some additional resources for educators. And of course, for more information, please go to this web address and we certainly hope that you will consider joining us for this book study as we think that applying these practices will have a positive impact on students with disabilities.